you modeled reinforcement in Revit and now you simply cannot see the bars in different views. Or maybe you can see them, but only in wireframe mode. Or you only see them as lines and not solid objects. Welcome to yet another video of my Revit reinforcement playlist. Today we are going to talk all about visibility of rebus. Not much more talk now, let's get started. So I already have a concrete floor with some concrete columns here in my 3D view, but then you can also see a level and a section. The section was cut through here and we need that to show how the visibility differs from different levels and section and views. So no reinforcement has been modeled so far. We all do that together. In order to do so, just go to the Structure tab and then for this tutorial, pick any kind of reinforcement. It doesn't matter because it's the same principle for all. So we pick the path reinforcement. Now we need to select a floor or wall. We do that. We click on OK. It's loading and then now we need to create the path. We simply do that, click on OK. And now we see that we need to change it. It was placed outside. So we simply click on edit path. And then we, s we select this those two arrows. Now it's moved inwards. And there we go. Here we can see the first issue that we have. We are here in a realistic view and we cannot really see the re rebars that we have just modeled. Um, we can also not really see them in here, like not at all, and also not in our floor. Um, if we hover over the area, if you know where it is, then we can see somehow um, yeah, that they are visible once we select them, but not really, and if we need to do drawings, this is not going to help. All right. So I'm going to show it first how we do it in the 3D view. Um, so we, we click here, click the path reinforcement or area reinforcement, whatever you need to model. And then in the property set, we get this uh, parameter view visibility states. And we click here on edit. Then this window pops up and it's saying how we want to have the views, if we want to have them un unobscured and the solids. I'm gonna go ahead and just try it out and show you guys what is changing. So first we say view unobscured and we selected the 3D view and now you can see that actually um, the, the color is more powerful and we can see this those rebars much better and they are kind of not not hidden in the, in the element anymore now it's still as you can see it's just lines um, and this is the thing the next thing that we want to change we go here click the the rebars and then we go to visibility states and then we select the second checkbox and that is view as solid. We click on OK. And now we go closer. And now we can see that it's actually a solid. We can double check if we just simply, excuse me, I want to select the uh, path reinforcement. And now if we just change the bar type, we go closer. And we actually can see that it's really solid come because the diameter is also changing. Yes, and there we go, it changed. Now we also want the same, of course, in the floor and in the section. I'm sorry, this um, section needs to go down here, of course. And now in this view, we can actually see it already. Um, so we have a hidden line 
graphic and we also have this is also important we have medium now I'm just gonna show you one more thing about this one um, if we define course for example in a section it's fine but if we change that in a level this is gonna change from solid if it is uh, defined as a solid in the view to lines I'm gonna show that in a minute but still we have in this level we have the problem that we don't see it really um, so basically what we do and we can do that in one go we select the structural path reinforcement and then we again go to the visibility states and now we'd simply look for the names of those views so section view unobscured and that was already s set up so that is why we saw those solid points and then level 2 we select that and we can only do it as view unobscured because as I said view as solid um, is defined differently which I'm gonna show you now click OK and now it is showing up but as as we can see it is actually lines and how do we get this as solid and there we have to define it from coarse to medium or fine just simply select fine and now we have them reverse as solids okay one more li one more thing other people what I've done in the beginning until I didn't understand how this whole thing works I often just changed um, my view my 3d view or whatever in wireframe and if we select it again and go back to the visibility states and say we don't want to be it obscured and not solid click on OK of course we can also see it here but again um, you can you don't have to be in wireframe mode because then as you can see here you also see the columns that are underneath the slab and so on and at one point you have simply too many rebars and too many objects so which is getting really distracting so this functionality is really important and it's really important that you understand how it works and therefore I, I would simply recommend to use a shaded hidden or realistic view and just leverage this visibility tool that you set it unobscured or also as, as solid so that you can always see it either in drawings but also on 3d views I hope this tutorial was useful for you if it helped you then please click the like button because it gives me the feedback that my content actually helps the community and that I can create more of those videos. Now, if you want to learn more about reinforcement, check the playlist in the description below. And as always, the next video, we will do the same just with Dynamo. I hope to see you there and thanks for watching.